I'm Robert Mack, visual artist, and you're visiting today my studio where we're going to be talking about three series of mine over the last 30 years or so. First one is the Not Guilty by Reason of Insanity. I created probably the most unusual artist residency ever in a maximum security hospital for the criminally insane. I was able to film them and photograph them, photograph the portfolio that Grace Sicardia and I did, I invited my friend in. We've had two major museum shows of that work. It's a compassionate look at a very difficult, sobering subject for society. Very proud of that work. The second series is the rap series. So for the last 15 years, I've lived in Los Angeles and have been going out to the desert, working very intimately with my subjects, mostly women, but sometimes men or both. And these photographs, are rather intimate. It's called the Rap Series because I take the subject out to the desert before sunrise. They're on the ground. I wrap them with organza. Then I create images. They're still in the dream state. The themes of the images are anywhere from emotions to dream to sleep. The theme of death seems to show up a lot in my work and the reason for that could be because I lost a brother to suicide many, many years ago. I also make a video as well when we do the, uh, the rap session. And then the third is the most recent. And I started uh, during the pandemic since we were sheltered in place. I decided to start painting. I did some series of portraits of friends of mine that have a very interesting design in terms of the portraiture but also the background, minimalist solid colors. As the anxiety sort of set in, I called the series Anxiety and Other Catastrophes. And you'll see that there are paintings like the one behind me which is called Assault. It's a painting of an AR-15 rifle with an American flag full of holes. And I painted that right on the day uh, after the Evaldi shooting took place by the 18-year-old kid in, in Texas where 19 children were killed and two of teachers. So I do sort of humanistic social issue films, photographs, and now paintings. This is a painting of Maurizio Saravia, who is a very close friend of all of ours, all of our artist friends and filmmakers. He's a poet, painter, and unfortunately, when I met him downtown at a gallery show, I realized, I mean, I looked at him and he looked very much like the Elephant Man. Uh, he had a condition called Nucleon Albright Syndrome, where his face would distort, his body would distort, and he was supposed to die at the age of nine, but he lived until 35. And uh, I also made a film about him, about beauty, Rada Mitchell, an actress, and that's a black and white film, but Maurizio was the inspiration inspiration for me to start painting when I was trapped, as we all were for a while in 2020 with the pandemic. The second painting that I did during the pandemic was uh, my dear good friend Richard Edson. Richard is an actor, a musician, he's a book writer. He was in the original Jim Jarmusch film Stranger Than Paradise with John Lurie. I like the color scheme, you know, I, I've been watching a lot of interesting classic master films of people like uh, Van Gogh and Gauguin, uh, Edvard Munch, and so they sort of inspired me a little bit with some of the color schemes that I've been using on all of my portraits that I've been doing during the pandemic. Another one of the pandemic paintings is an Imagine painting. It's a woman, but I just sort of, I think I saw some Bridget Bardot hairdos one day and they sort of worked their way in. What I really like it quite often is lips in my paintings and the eyes and what I really like about this one is these eyes they're almost as if she's a seer or a mystic and again the millimillist background behind and the painting up here is it's a friend of mine a woman in Germany Berlin and it started from some images of her and then what happened is it sort of morphed into sort of a male-female figure. 
And if you look on the right hand side, the painting is about good and evil in a way. On the right hand side, if you see the hair, it's like serpents and on the left hand side, more beautiful. So the individual is struggling with good and evil. And again, all of these pictures, uh, if you look at the eyes, they're very focused, centered, dead center. Perspective is right on the uh, portrait and the face. This is another early pandemic painting around 2020. And I was starting to do a rap series painting uh, this was from a live model, a friend of mine who came by and she wanted to be painted. And rather than wrapping her with uh, material, the COVID <laughs> started, the, co the virus. And so I did this painting and the, uh, the virus, if you look closely to them, there's actually roses on the coronaviruses that are surrounding her. These latest ones ended up with a black frame around them, which I kind of like. <laughs> if you show it in a gallery, it doesn't have to be framed, but it probably will be. And if you look closely to the mouth of the subject, you'll see that there's specks coming out which represent the virus and COVID at the time. This is another anxiety painting that I did. And what's interesting for me as an artist is that the white around the face of the creature, the portrait, it's all raw canvas, and uh, this one was completely imagined. I've never done anything like this before. It was kind of, it's kind of scary to me, but it, did, it very clearly represents the anxiety that we were all going through during the pandemic. And another anxiety painting. Of course, I'm aware of what's going on in the world, and at the time, this was uh, at the beginning of the Ukrainian war that the Russians started, Putin. I would say he looks a bit like Putin, and unfortunately these are Ukrainian soldiers or individuals, civilians, that have been attacked by Putin. As I said, I've been doing the rap series where I take subjects out into the desert, photograph them at sunrise early in the morning, just myself, the subject, no makeup, no hair, just the two of us. And this one in particular is a good friend, Sarah, who lives here in Los Angeles, who just had a baby. I think what's remarkable about this image, for me personally, this was maybe taken a year before COVID started, uh, maybe 2019, and in a way it's almost a prophecy of what's coming. If you look, the uh, material is coming out of her mouth, and when people get COVID it seems they, you know, it seems to attack the lungs, and so for some reason this image came out the way it did, which to me is very prophetic.